Hello everyone, my name is Pankaj and in this video we are going to see that how to create a protector project in Eclipse. So earlier in my last video I have demonstrated the basics of protector and uh, what is conf.js, what is specs.js and uh, in my last video also I demonstrated that how to use Visual Studio Code which is a free tool as a uh, to use as a JavaScript IDE. So in this video you will see that how to use Eclipse and uh, let's start with it. So what you need to have, you need to have Java Eclipse IDE installed in your machine and then go to file, create a new JavaScript project, go to file, new and then select project and from this list what you have to do is you have to select JavaScript and it is here, JavaScript project, next and then name it as a protector tutorial uh, let's leave it protector and enter so here you can see that the protector is uh, created a project with name protector is created inside this you'll find that the javascript resources are available as uh, very similar to the java project where jre uh, resources are uh, added into the project here the javascript resources are uh, added into it now what you need to do, do is you need to copy the conf and spec.js into the protector you can also create it or you can also copy and paste it so uh, in my last video i have demonstrated the conf and specs.js so what i'll do here i'll just copy and paste that conf.js and spec.js and directly run it from this uh, ide and that's how you will be able to see that how to run a javascript project in this how to run a protector project in uh, eclipse ide so you remember whenever you install protector it installs an example file in your machine so you have to go to uh, to find it you have to go to your c drive then users and then uh, app data roaming and here select npm node modules protector and then example so here you will you will be able to file conf .js and example spec.js simply paste these two files here so conf.js has all the configuration related information and also the reference of the spec file where your test case is present so example spec has my test case right so here you can see that all the test cases are here so simply what i have to do is we have to uh, run conf.js and eventually it will load this spec.js and it will run all the cases which is available in the example spec.js so one option is that you can go uh, on this conf.js file where this conf.js file is available and directly run the conf.js so one is this way but uh, instead of doing it again and again because you will have to go at this path and then launch a configuration uh, launch a cmd and then run a command so i'll simply tell you that how to do it from the eclipse only but here just to demonstrate you that you can go on this path and run a command protector conf.js and enter so it will launch your chrome browser it will start executing the test cases that you can see okay here you can see that it has launched the chrome browser and now it is visiting angularjs.org website and it will perform certain actions here right so this is the one way so what i'll do i'll just simply create a file a bad file with the this command protector conf.js and will place it at the same location where your project is so in this file here i will create a simple text file run name it as runner dot leave it txt for the time being and here just copy the same command that you used in terminal or alright so just save it and change the file extension to bat Right, go back to your Eclipse IDE and refresh your project and here you will find that the runner.bat is available now so what you have to do is you have to launch this bat file in order to execute your conf.js so instead of going on terminal or command prompt you simply can execute your script from here so click here in Eclipse and click on external tools configuration and here you have to select program and then create a new program name it whatever you want to you can name it as pro launcher and in browse workspace you have to 
choose your project runner.bat and now browse workspace may again you'll have to use your project name apply and then run so now you'll be able to see that you can directly run it from here see the script execution has started so i'll just close it and we'll demonstrate you here that here all the configuration that i have created is here so now what i have to do is i have to click on the pro launcher that i have created newly also when you click on this the latest one you can also click on here and it will start executing your same script it will pick the latest uh, configuration that you have created and that you have used to run a program now what happens once you create this uh, example uh, spec and conf spec you won't be able to get the intellisense in uh, your ide so what happens if you say browser.get you won't find anything here if you press ctrl and space then too it is it has nothing as an auto sense so what you have to do it you have to get in order to get the auto uh, intelligence you have to install a plugin called turn t-e-r-n so if you go here click install new software and search for turn or uh, instead of using it i will go to marketplace eclipse marketplace and then install a plugin called turn it's taking a while so i'll just search here t e r m so here you can see that this turn eclipse ide is already installed in my machine but you have you will have to install it for the first time so once you install it what you have to do is you have to right click on your protector project and uh, go to configure and then convert this to turn project so once you convert this turn project or to turn project here you'll find an option of protector so just check this box and apply and close after that what you have to do is you have to refresh your project and now if i try to say that what all methods available inside the browser just uh, write the browser dot and then press ctrl plus space here you can see that now it has all the available methods it, it will be displayed here so this is how you will be getting all the methods in your protector ide in your eclipse ide for protector so that's all in this video in this video you learned that how to create a protect project inside eclipse ide how to run it from the same place and also how to get the sense auto sense from the eclipse ide by creating by converting it into the turn project thanks for watching